Hello YouTube, uh, this is Kara Lancey. I had gastric sleeve surgery on July 29th and with Dr. Timothy Brown in Canyon City, Colorado. I'm 5'6". At my highest weight, I was at 378. Surgery weight, I was at 322. <coughs> um, and I know I didn't check in the last two weeks, sorry, it's been a little busy, but I lost two pounds the first week after the last video and then three pounds the last week and then this week I've actually lost I don't know uh, six pounds so I'm down today my current weight is 265 uh, so that is what is that 57 pounds in surgery yeah that is amazing so I am super super excited I met with my surgeon um, just a couple days ago on Monday and he is ecstatic with my weight loss and um, how I've progressed so far because yeah uh, and I'm 13 weeks today just FYI and I'm just here in a few days I'm actually at my three month surge anniversary so in less than three months um, I've lost 57 pounds so that's pretty pretty damn kicking it I'm very excited uh, an NSV for the week um, this past Saturday a friend of mine had a birthday and she wanted to go out and go dancing so I went with her and we were there for over four hours and of those four hours uh, I'd say at least three hours I was dancing and I was shaking it and I was able I wasn't exhausted I wasn't you know wiped out after each song and having to take a break no I mean I went at it and went at it and went at it and you know, the next day I was a little sore, but <laughs> it wasn't bad. Not like it normally has been, because I've always liked to dance. So that was a huge NSV for me. Um, but uh, I wanted to mention something that I was actually talking to a friend about the other day. I don't recognize me. I don't recognize me as I am now. And I have one of those um, digital picture frames that just constantly changes pictures. And I'll catch a glimpse of a picture of an old picture of me, and I don't recognize me as that either. It's like I had fat blinders on or something, that I honestly didn't realize I was that big. So I don't recognize me in those pictures, and I don't recognize me now. So I don't, I don't know. It's kind of confusing. <laughs> I don't know me. So, and all grown up, I mean, all the way up until I shaved my head for my sister, I've had really long hair. So. My whole identity is different, and I, I gotta create myself because I don't know me anymore, which is kind of odd and very exciting, you know, because no more my legs aren't rubbing together, which is amazing. That's an NSV. But yeah, because yeah, when I walk or when I move or anything, my legs don't touch anymore, which is very ecstatic. Um, I'm actually planning on here in the next couple of days, I will do a body shot uh, for my three month surgery anniversary, so I'll get that in there. But other than that, things are going really good for me. Um, oh, something my surgeon said, which I, uh, I'm actually okay with it, but it's different than what I hear out in the you know, weight loss surgery world, is I struggle with eating three times a day. I can get in you know, lunch and dinner, that's fine, but I really struggle with eating breakfast. And so I have been substituting in milk a lot of times to make up for me not eating breakfast. And he was fine with that. He said, absolutely, if you can't eat, you know, first thing in the morning, don't force yourself, you know, because that's going to create bad habits, too, of making yourself eat when you're not, you know, not hungry or not needing it. But then I've also seen on many other things that, you know, people eat, you know, five small meals a day. And that's not me at all. But um, my weight loss has been really great and on track and especially, you know, I mean, everything else is going really good. So... I don't know. I was going to see what you guys thought about that and how many times a day do you eat. But uh, I'm still not feeling hungry. I'm actually very lucky with that. And I, just, I get the mind hunger thing, but I'm not actually hungry. And honestly, if I don't make myself eat, I could actually go for days without, you know, eating. <coughs> but, yeah, um, I haven't had any massive triggers. And you can tell, like, if you look right there... That is a mound of cakes and cupcakes and all of that for all the Halloween parties this week. And I'm fine with it. It's like I haven't had, I have that stuff around me all the time. Um, this weekend we took the kids out on the lake 
my husband and I did, and we had a picnic. And I mean, there was chips there, and I brought Twinkies for the kids and things like that. And I don't have a issue at all for trying to even, you know, I don't want it at all. So I mean, it's good. I mean, I just, um, I don't know what else to talk about because yeah, overall everything has just been really good for me. I'm sorry that I haven't been around the last couple of weeks, but as of last night, I'm completely done with this semester. Woo! So I got three weeks off before the next semester, so I'm super excited. And I got all A's in all my classes. Woo woo. But <laughs> other than that, uh, I hope everyone's doing well. And now that I'm finally free for this, uh, the, the, at the end of the semester, I hope to catch up on everyone's videos because I really miss seeing you guys. So, okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Oh, happy Halloween for everyone that's out there in YouTube world. It's Halloween. Yay.